In this video, you will learn how to create a new project. Let's start by opening the Sophistic Structural Desktop. Within the Start With section, you can create a new project, open existing projects, or even create a project from a template. You can also access existing projects in the Open Recent section. Let's create a new project. Within the Sophistic Information dialog box, select a folder and enter a name to save your project data. For this tutorial, use Concrete Slab as the project name. Here you can enter a project title. It will appear as the header of your project report. The next step is to select the design code. Various design codes are supported. For this tutorial, select Eurocode. In the System section, you can select what type of project you will be working on. As this tutorial is about a 2D concrete slab, please pick the type 2D slab slash girder. The group divisor allows you to set the maximum number of finite elements within an element group. The default setting is 10,000 which is fine for most projects. However, you can change this value for big projects or dense finite element meshes. Within the regional properties, you can find the unit set. Here you can see the units used in your project and change them if required. Below unit sets, you can find a button to select the language of your project. In location, you can add location-specific factors to your project. Boxed values allows you to adjust the design code-specific factors if necessary. The preprocessing dropdown includes all available preprocessing options, meaning you can choose which program to use for your system and geometry definition. Let's proceed with Sophie Plus X graphical preprocessing the AutoCAD-based input. Sophie Plus is a plugin that uses AutoCAD as a platform. The input file will be saved as a DWG format, a native AutoCAD file. A side note, only the .sophistic and the .wg files are required to back up or recreate your whole project. All other data gets generated during the Sophistic calculation. If you select a template in this dropdown, different tasks get added to the project navigation. You will see that in a minute. Lastly, let's take a look at the gravity direction. This option allows you to specify the direction of your project's self-weight. The default setting, negative set axis, is fine for your project. Once you confirm all settings by clicking OK, the Sophistic Structural Desktop will no longer allow you to change the project's design code. The new project is created. There are three main areas available in the Sophistic Structural Desktop. The menu, which comes with several ribbons. The project navigation, which includes the project's tasks. And the viewer area. Sophistic Structural Desktop uses a task-based approach. It processes tasks sequentially according to the order specified in the project navigation. Tasks represent single steps for modeling, calculation, design and much more. You can assign tasks to groups such as the ones in this project. System, calculation, superposition, load case combination and design reinforced concrete. You can delete add and adjust tasks by right-clicking or drag and dropping them in the project navigation. The same functionalities apply to groups. As you can see, a suggestion of tasks and groups has been created for you based on the template you chose. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.